which is presented here. Then there is another figure that is called translation and adaptive potential of recently emerged ORFS. Now, if I am again outlining the, the steps involved in de novo assembly, this which I have described in the previous videos, like workflow for analyzing our basic data. For example, here it is de novo. Then in case of de novo, you need to run first QC, then go for implement Trinity software to generate a de novo R -Nisic assembly and then transcript expression. Or you can also go for this plus homology prediction. And after that, you need to construct the expression matrix and finally go for the depth prediction by using different softwares and the tools. So thus you are going to complete now.